What's up, senior high school and college students? I'm RJ Comedia. Hi guys, I am Iboni Lagmay. Good day, I'm Jaira Sanchez. And we are here to share with you Pope Francis' encyclical letter, Laudato Si, Care for Our Common Home. You might be wondering, what is Laudato Si? Laudato Si means, Praise be to you, my Lord. This is an encyclical letter that Pope Francis wrote last May 24, 2015 and officially published on June 18, 2015. Pope Francis wrote the encyclical letter to wake us up, to tell us that we are destroying not only our environment, but also our fellow men. We need to change our ways of living in order to save the earth from harmful actions, to care for Mother Earth, our common home. The letter addresses the dangerous effects of business interests and consumerism that deprive the earth of its natural richness and beauty. We are facing ecological crisis. Why? It is because of us, humans. Pope Francis also discussed about technology. Since we are in the digital age, there is a belief that technology is progress and that science and technology shape the lives of individuals and the workings of society. The letter also talked about social media and its effects in our lives, a mental pollution characterized by foolish learning, shallow thinking, and selfish loving. Pope Francis is asking us to change. It should start within us. Then, we should work together to make our world a better place. You might be thinking that we don't need to do all this because the earth will always exist. But that's wrong. So, why do we need to take care of our environment? Take it away, RJ. The environment that we have is essential in human survival. It helps humans to live. And if we do not take care of it, we will suffer. There are already a lot of campaigns that tell us how we can protect our planet. But still, we should be reminded on the reasons on why we need to take care of it. According to the People of Asia website, there are simple reasons as to why we should care for the environment. First, the climate is changing whether we like it or not. The climate change is real. It causes a change in the Earth's atmosphere which means everything around us is changed too. Second, resources. We cannot live without resources. There are a lot of resources that humans should have in their daily lives and for the environment to stay healthy. For instance, water, soil, timber, and wildlife. Without all of those natural resources, we cannot live. Third, if we are in a dirty environment, we are prone to illnesses and diseases. So, we need to clean our environment to keep us healthy. As simple as that. Fourth, we must preserve what the earth that was given to us. It is beautiful and we must keep it that way. Fifth, medicines and medical supplies are found throughout the forest and environment. Those organic medicines can cure infections and other health problems. 6. Have you heard of several news about people killing or abusing animals? Or even using plastics and they just throw them away to the ocean? How do you feel about it? Yeah, I know it's sad. Animals are suffering. We should take care of the animals as it is part of the earth. 7. The environment keeps our earth balanced. Trees creates oxygen and maintain the balance to prevent global warming. Plants need some carbon dioxide for photosynthesis with the help of wood, soil, and leaves. Eighth, our great-grandchildren will appreciate it. We should keep in mind that we can't live forever on this earth. So, we should preserve the healthiness of the planet for the sake of future generations. Ninth, this is our home. 
Let us protect or take care of our planet the way we take care of our homes or even our own rooms. We can't slip if it is dirty or pleasant, right? So, let us apply this to our environment. And lastly, we have moral obligations as humans to preserve nature. We, as humans living on this earth, are responsible for keeping it healthy and beautiful. We consume and benefit a lot from it. Therefore, let us spread awareness and we as youth should intervene to maintain its healthiness. And so, what are the ways to take care of our environment? Ivoni? As young people, we must have a sense of responsibility in taking care of our environment. So here are some ways on how we take care of our environment. First, always remember the words reduce, reuse, and recycle. Let's reduce the waste we dispose to reduce the destruction of our environment. We also need to reuse items such as plastic bags and cartons to reduce the waste. And most of all, recycle items that can be repaired and improved so that they can save our nature. Second, clean your surroundings. Environmental care discipline starts within your home. We should practice cleaning so that we can be an example to other people, especially the children. Third, always use eco-friendly items. Eco-friendly items help protect the environment. It reduces the exposure of waste, the existence of climate change, and global warming. So here are some eco-friendly items that we can use anywhere. We can use eco bags in supermarket, which could be an alternative to plastic. Also, use stainless cups or plastic tumblers instead of plastic caps because people tend to improperly throw it in random places. We could use eco-friendly materials in which we can bring anywhere we go. Creating and advocacy is also one of the ways to help protect our environment. As youth, we can make advocacy about caring for, having discipline, and love for our environment. We could also join organizations that focus on protecting our environment. At this time of pandemic, most of us stay at home, which means we should practice conserving energy. So how do we conserve energy? Turn off your appliances if you're already gone, Walk instead of using motorcycle or car. Just drive it if you're going to a far place. This could protect our atmosphere and ozone layer. Open your window during the day. And use electric appliances that are less in consuming energy. As a youth, we should be aware of this message from Pope Francis and how it should be actualized. We can use our knowledge and power to inform, educate, and persuade people to practice this important message. We hope that you gain a lot from this message of Pope Francis. We should always keep in mind the ways of how we can protect our environment. Also, don't forget the reasons why we need to protect it. And always remember, if we have a better home, we could have a better future. I'm RJ Comedia. I am Ivoni Lagmay. And I'm Dario Sanchez. Bye! Bye. Bye.